Ooh, things are getting spicy amongst some of the hockey media out there, as last night Tim Peel shared an exchange that he had with Mark Spector over text. Now, to be clear, I consider both of these people to be a giant douche and a turd sandwich. Tim Peel, who's a hothead who was caught on the hot mic being an idiot, and Mark Spector, I mean, Oiler Nation knows, this guy's just gotta be the dumbest of the dumb out there. As for the exchange, though, it's kind of funny. Check this out. Tim Peel goes on Twitter and he says, this is what happens when you call out an Edmonton reporter for asking Connor if he'd rather win 4-1. Of course you'd rather win 4-1. This is why some players don't want to play in Canada. Connor played his ass off. Let's go Oilers. Then he shares screenshots of the text exchange that he has with Spec. So Spec texts him and says, Thanks for piling on, Tim. I'll remember that the next time you fuck up. Well, it's a stupid question. Of course they'd like to win 4-1. You refs never have the balls to answer for your shut-ass work. Mark Spector, you're a journalist. You should proofread your text, buddy. And you're critiquing me? Also, you spelled your wrong, stupid... Quit being so sensitive. <laughs> That's actually funny. That's something I would say. <laughs> Girl some balls, Mark. Never played the game. Been around it long enough to know horseshit ref when I see one, Tim. I've been very good to read for my whole career. 35 years. Thanks for noticing. You've always been a fucking fraud, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, both of these people are fucking stupid. I don't like either of them, but man, Tim Peel, that was, that was funny. I liked it. Then this morning, we had a surprise guest enter the ring. Here's Frank Saravalli. Hey, Tim, nice work tweeting private convos. Ah, oh, that's right. You couldn't spell class if I spotted you the ass. Paid any visit to berate teenagers in referee locker rooms lately? Oof. Deep cut. Tim Peel once apparently followed two 17-year-old hockey players to a locker room, and he blocked them from entering and was threatening them and threatening their jobs. Apparently, he stood there for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then Frank Cervalli wraps it up by saying, or did you drunk tweet it and delete it like usual? Now, I don't have Twitter, so I couldn't check if any of that was deleted or not, but I mean, it's on the internet now, so it's technically out there forever. Um... Yeah, I don't have a side in this. I mean, I hate Mark Spector. He's a fucking idiot. Tim Peel is also a dumbass. But this is just kind of funny. Like, as an observer watching from the sidelines, this was genuinely just kind of entertaining. And, you know, I thought I'd share it with you guys. Happy Tuesday.